Hello, Pipe community. This is Philip. I just was uh, sitting here enjoying a cigar. Thought I would talk a little bit about my experience thus far. This one is CAO Brasilia and I have to tell you, I've been going around trying different ones recently, and this one seems to be the one I go back to. It's a more of a full-bodied cigar, best I can tell, and what my reviews I've seen uh, tell me. And it, it really is smooth as far as to the palate, I feel. I can really begin to discern some of the nuances that you, you know you all been talking about, and um, the um, actual tastes and things that go along with it, and the changes too from the beginning to the middle and and so forth. I'm no no way able to do a review on something like this. I just too new into it. This is probably only my fourth or fifth cigar, I'm guessing. But I'm like all these other crazy people that are that jump into it. I've got a humidor sitting here, and um, it's just one that came with the actual from Cigars International. It's one that came with a package. Supposedly, the value of the package was $157, and I got it for shipping and ta and everything, $34 and something. I have to laugh because it's totally different than seeing myself on the on here with my pipes. I don't know how it's going to work out for me as far as the trying these and so forth. For me, I've never been a smoker like uh, as far as like cigarettes, so I don't have the desire to inhale. So I do. I am very careful to just take it into my mouth and taste it and so forth. So, but I still have a longing to smoke my pipe, of course. And I'm just trying to find out. Sometimes it's nice to have the cigar. You cut it and you torch it to get it going, and then you're done. You know, it usually stays lit as long as you keep them nice in the humidor and all that but it's still different in as far as um, the tastes and things like that so I don't know whether I'm corrupting my palate with regards to my pipes or or what but it's kind of a nice change I guess from time to time and I'll have some with my nephews who are 25 and 27, I think, or 26 and 24, 25. I can't exactly remember. They're of legal age, of course, and older now. And my son's 24, so we uh, can enjoy that together, all of us. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd stop in and say hi and The um, guys I've been talking with, Kevin, Louisiana Pipe Guy, 1965, and Smoking Grandpa Bones. Uh, recently, I talked to him a little bit last night on the private messaging, and we discussed things about cigars. And uh, Hellman from um, Texas there, he's been good to help me and talk to me a little bit. So I appreciate all you guys responding back and also had a message from Pipe Pappy and so I appreciate everyone kind of giving me their thoughts on some things and different ones to try. I've been ordering those that you all been 
telling me about and your, some of your favorites, so it's nice to enjoy those and or will enjoy those and, and then knowing each one that who's recommended them. So I can see where this habit though would be a costly one if you tried to do it completely on at the brick and mortar your local shop. Uh, I feel badly because you'd like to keep a small business going, but on the same token, you don't want to go broke doing this either. So I'm just trying to calm down now and not order so much. Right off the bat, I ordered a humidor, a box of the Brasilias. I think it's a goal or goalie goal uh, is the style. They're a pr relatively shorter cigar and that, so I can you know gauge the smoke better as far as sit down time and that kind of thing. The um, good recommendation I had from uh, I think it was Daniel Shore. Uh, thank you too for that recommendation to cut the cigar with your cutter in half or in this case what I've been doing kind of to what he asked or said to do I've been cutting the the charred part away placing it back in the cellophane and saving it for maybe in the afternoon if I wasn't able to smoke the whole cigar that way I'm not throwing away anything I don't mind relighting and, and doing that maybe I've corrupted the cigar maybe it's not the best optimum way but I like to smoke it down to you know as much as I can. But anyway, heading out to the US Nationals tomorrow, so that'll be my vacation kind of thing for the year for myself and that's been fun to do year after year. I'll get to see some guys that I haven't seen for a year now and we'll um enjoy that time together. It's supposed to rain here quite a bit I think so we'll have to deal with the downtime there of uh, what to do with our time and rescheduling of different things throughout the day. They usually will juggle things around and so the event schedule gets a little messy but anyway we're excited about that and so I'll go out there with those guys and probably take some cigars out there and enjoy with them. But I just wanted to say hello and to, thanks to those that have been communicating with me and, and I appreciate that. Hope you all are having a good week and I hope you continue to have a good week. Have a great day.